Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope you guys had the opportunity to check out the Felixen, Felixen, Felixen Family Channel. Um, guys, I hope I'm saying that right. But, uh, you know, they, I hope you guys uh, was able to listen to the answers that they had to the questions that I had. And in return, they have a few questions they wanted to ask us. So we're going to answer them now. Okay. So, what was it like for Ernita, honey? What was it like for you coming here to America? Like from the Philippines, what, what you were experiencing? It's totally different. Um, that's the first time I left my country and <clears throat> leaving, leaving everything behind, like the things that you are so used to. So, it's, it's really tough. Okay. Very, yeah. Yeah. I had separation anxiety for I don't know six months before I left. It's it's really hard. And I actually had a class I think uh, towards right before coming over. You had to go through a class. <clears throat> yes. To prepare you mm -hmm. for yes. coming here to the U.S. Yes. Things you may experience, um, yeah. what have you. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the other one was uh, what do I most appreciate about the Philippines? Number one thing is the people. The people I think are amazing people. I love. All the Filipino people, you are just so warm, generous, so loving, open arms. They want to feed you. They want to sing to you. What more could somebody want, right, other than the white sand beach? You know what I'm saying? I love everything about the Filipino people. And, <clears throat> you know, there's just something about that country. Um, to see just how humble the people are, to having possibly very little to nothing, but yet can be the happiest people that you know. I think it's a wonderful, um, you know, it's, it's, it's something to teach other people that are greedy. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't need all these material things to be happy. Enough said about that. Uh, <clears throat> what's a misconception of what? What was my misconception about the USA? Yeah. So this is, this is just based on my experience dealing with Americans. So where I worked before, <clears throat> uh, the headquarters of that company is from Minnesota, and the auditors from that company sent to the, they were they were in the Philippines for two weeks for the audit. So that's the only time I had I had to deal with them. So I thought at first all Americans are you know working working in a it's either offices or <clears throat> the jobs that just just an easy job until i got here i got here and i we have a friend who is working really hard with her age so no ditch diggers <clears throat> no oh, i never thought like that. of that wow okay so <clears throat> so that's that's what that's my misconception i thought all Americans are are sitting pretty on their desk and do this, do that. It's it's not like that. Oh, so, that would drive <clears throat> me crazy. So yeah. To sit at a desk all day. Couldn't do it. So <clears throat> they are hard working people too. <laughs> all right. Well so we all worked in an office environment. <laughs> that's what my okay. that's we didn't have taxi drivers. <laughs> we didn't have anything else, you know. Everybody worked in an office, and that was it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is my favorite Filipino food? What is it called? It is the... Crispy pata. Crispy pata. I think it's... Uh, no, listen, I know it's not healthy, but come on, guys. You have to admit it's pretty daggone good. Okay, that's my number one. Second thing would be um, the uh, Filipino spaghetti. Yes. The third thing would be the peanut butter. Here we go. I'm going to try to say it. What is it? Carré, carré. Carré, carré. Yes. Did I say it right? Yes. While we. I actually said it right. Uh, <clears throat> and the soup. That, 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 that well, I, what is that soup? That her dad makes an amazing soup. Yeah. It's amazing. It has like beef tips or something in it. Yeah. Cabbage. What is it called? Sinigang. Not cabbage, honey. What is it? It's like a spinach here. 
Okay. Yeah. It's Sinigang. Sinigang na baboy. Sinigang the baboy. Sinigang. Sinigang. Na. Na. Baboy. Baboy. Okay. Very good. And that should answer your last question. Can I speak Tagalog? No. Not very good at it. I've tried. I've actually did a video about a year ago. Uh, me trying to speak the language, and it's pretty darn funny. Um, I'm trying, but maybe if I'm living there and I hear the language every day, I'll mm -hmm. start picking up on it. Yeah. But uh, oh, oh and Salamat are the two that I only know so far. There you have it, guys. Uh, and, yeah, that leads me to wanting to ask you guys the same thing. What about you, Scott? Can you speak Tagalog? Yeah. What you'll be like reading out of a book. <laughs> He'll probably be reading. I guarantee it. I guarantee. I, I just think it's a hard language. I can't seem to pick up on a lot I don't of the. Think. Well, you speak it. It's hard for me. It'd be like trying to to learn, you know, Japanese or, you know. Yeah, but you you speak as you you read. Ah. Okay. Well, all I need to know is English, actually, because y'all were speaking English, so I think I'm okay, right? I think I'm okay. Uh, but I did want to ask you guys. Um, I know for Ernita and I, when we were going through the process of getting her here to the States, the most difficult part for us was the interview mm -hmm. in the Philippines for her. Yeah. And I can honestly tell you at that time, I was a total basket case. I mean, we know the time differences. It was day there. It was it's night here. Day. I was working an evening shift <laughs> at that time. And I was, uh, I, in fact, I don't remember my shift. I was totally so focused on, you know, hoping that this was going to work. Yeah. And they were going <clears> to <throat> approve her. Um, but... And it did. It, it all worked out for us. Um, yes. But what was it? What was the most up to this point? Now, I know you only been here for six months, and we congratulate you, by the way, for getting through that process to come here. Yes. You and the children. Um, we, you guys, just look really happy, and we're happy for you. But what was the most difficult thing so far for the two of you to go through? And what would be the other? Uh, What's the other for Elvie? Right? Did we yeah. want to? Yeah. <clears throat> what was, how was it for you yeah. leaving the country? Like Filipino to Filipino. Yeah. Uh, what was it like for you as well to leave your country to come here? Mm -hmm. um, and what, what do you most, what do you most like also about the U.S. so far? Yes. Okay. And I am, uh, I got to be honest with you guys, we're a little bit jealous here that you guys have three, three Filipino restaurants. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And you have a Filipino supermarket, Is that, I hope that's correct. We don't have anything here. We have Asian, Asian stores, stores, but, you no, know. Most we, of them are like Taiwanese or and Indonesian. We, and there's actually a lot of Filipinos <clears throat> that live in the area. Yeah. And, and I don't understand why we don't have a Filipino restaurant here somewhere. Yeah. We just don't. So, yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that. Three? Are you kidding me? So you have the option to go to three different Filipino restaurants. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. What's that? What's that? Uh, I hope that we get that. Uh, what's that fast food place? Jollibee. Jollibee. <clears throat> Jollibee chicken is really, it's really, really something. But I don't see that. Oh, let me guess. You guys got a Jolly Bee, too. <laughs> right? Okay. Well, up here in the Northeast, we don't have that. We have to travel either to New York City. Or New Jersey. Is or New place. Jersey. Um, and I there is a Filipino store that is in located the in the Philadelphia area. Yeah. That's These places are like four and a half to six hours away. So Yeah. Yeah. So we'd have to do some traveling yeah. just to get... A Just to bit get of, some Filipino food. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. To all my subscribers, followers, I want you guys to go back, 
check their channel out. I want you guys to listen to what they got to say. It's very interesting stuff, and it can be very helpful for somebody that's looking going for through. going mm -hmm. through and looking for that answer. Uh, they may just have the answer to what you're looking for. So until then, we will talk to you guys later. Keep it real. Love the ones that you're with, the one that's very special to you, okay, because you just never know. We will talk to you guys very soon. Until then, salamat and bye. How do you say bye and paalam? Oh, and do you use uh, face expressions like, uh, could you get me those napkins? Get me those <laughs> napkins. Have you experienced that yet? Scott. Yeah. So we're going to leave you with that. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. bye.